Greetings, my dear friends. Welcome to something new. Undying. Zombie apocalypse has happened. You play as this woman on the left, who has been munched upon, and she must teach her son there, on the right, how to survive before she herself perishes. Interesting concept. Anyway, let's go for it. Okay, difficulty levels. We have Tranquil, time passes slowly, the world isn't too bad, brew a cup of hot tea, savour it slowly like reading a book. Cody will start with zero skill points available. Adventure! Time flies, the world is somewhat desolate. Add more excitement, use your wits plan to plan your journey. Cody will start with zero skill points. And time races by, the world is full of malice, step on the gas or you'll struggle to reach the finish line. Cody will still start with zero skill points available. Okay. I'm feeling brave. It's been four months since the outbreak first hit. Damn. But it's feel like a lifetime. It would. In order to keep as many people safe as possible, the military have turned subway stations into refugee camps. They plan to extract each camp until they have extracted every living person in the infected area. Today, our group is being extracted. That just rings of uh, three days till retirement. You know shit's gonna go bad. Mom, where are we going? Somewhere safe, Cody. Will Dad be there? I hope so. Cody, get behind me! Please work! Please work! Yes! At that moment, all I could think of was, I have to get home. And in a little while, all you'll be able to think of is eating your son. should do for now. When we find time, we'll need to fix the others. I'm scared. Cody? We're safe now, and Mama is here to look after you, okay? <laughs> uh, for a little while. Are you okay? Mom, your arm. It's... Nothing, just a scratch. That's all. Why don't we take our mind off things? 
Let's see what we can find around the house. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's go. safe. I believe we are safe for now. The pain from the wound on her arm made Anling furrow her brows slightly. Mom, your arm. It's all right, dear. I'm just trying some bandages to wrap it up. Okay. Is there any? Okay, me. Ah, there we go. Um, no, okay, bugger it. Let's pick up this letter. Anling, today is your wedding day. We're sorry we can't be there. It's too far and we can't travel with our health issues. We wish you happiness and good wealth. Don't worry about us. Baba and Mama. October 3rd, 1982. An old letter from my parents. Cody, pick up that homemade wine. Okay, so the right stick tells Cody what to do. Cody, open that. Oh, you can't open. You can't do that yet. Okay, canned meat and some scraps. Wood. Medical bench. Okay. Homemade wine from potatoes. I believe that's called vodka, but um, never mind that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's check the child. Okay. He's good. Aha! Hit left bumper while you're uh, doing a thing, and uh, you'll teach him how to. Mom, I can't find bandages anywhere. It's okay, Cody. We found some materials to make some bandages. Not long ago. We can work with them a bit, and uh, they'll do just fine. Okay, now... Actually... Oh, beginners crafting books. For each correct answer, Cody's crafting experience gains an extra one for the next 24 hours. Okay. Bandages. Yes. 
Cody can't. Yes. But here, watch this, kid. I have learned something new. Good job, Cody. Great. Can you show me what you've learned? Mom, put a bandage on it so the wound doesn't hurt. Go to Cody's skills to unlock various skills that will let him assist you. Okay. Okay, cool. Damn, you might be able to turn this kid into something truly terrifying. Hunt animals, engage in combat with his slingshot, can shoot two projectiles at a time. A variety of projectiles with his weapons. Okay. Uh, check bag. Okay, now. Ah, uh, it's in case Cody ends up injured. Okay. <clears throat> Cody, look. Let me put a bandage on it and the wound sure doesn't hurt anymore. Except it's a zombie bite, so it absolutely would. That's great! So what do we do next? Let's go downstairs and see. Those sick people should have already left. Sick people. Okay, Mom. Mom, can I hold your hand while going downstairs? I'm still a little scared. Mom, the house has become so messy. Yes, the house isn't just messy, so many things are also broken. The tool bench, the food bench, and the recycle bench are all unusable. We need to find some materials to repair them. Mom, I'll help you find materials. Thank you, Cody. Let's go together and see what else we can use in the house. At home. There are still many facilities in a state of disrepair. Repairing and upgrading them as soon as possible will help you survive better. Yes. Okay. Once fixed, the tool workbench will be very useful. Okay. should absolutely teach Cody everything we possibly can. Now, we can operate the tool bench and not do a great deal with it right now. But that's fine. That's just fine. Uh, we 
we're not going outside yet. Katie, get those scraps. And also, oh, I have to check. Oh, you can store items in the refrigerator or storage box. Fridge preserves the freshness of food. The storage box can be upgraded for more space. You can build a bigger box out of a box. What do you do? Turn it into a TARDIS somehow. Broken recycling bench. Let's disassemble that. No? Okay, we need five more scraps and two wood planks. Okay, cool. No wackers. We're not fixing that anytime soon. Cody, pick up that water. And that starch. I will operate this broken food bench that we also... Hang on. Can we use actually use that for... Clearly not yet. Um, grab those snowballs, kiddo. It looks like everything. Is there any way we haven't checked yet? I tried to get in the backyard, but the door's locked. Hmm? hmm, I guess we lost the key. I think things may have calmed down out the front. Why don't we check out the neighborhood and see if we can find something to open the back door? Okay. Okay. Um... Alrighty. Oh. The Adventures of Effie Robin. Cody, open that scrap pile. Useful, there are crackers. <coughs> okay, so that's the back door there. And it is locked. This is what it's come to, alas. No time for sentimentality. Let's see if there's a tool nearby that can open the back door and hopefully there's still a living neighbor. Come on, Cody. Let's hold hands. Now we've got a bunch of wood.
This is how you siphon gasoline out of cars. Or petrol, as we call it in this part of the world. Pick up the newspaper. Unrecognisable. The incident happened in the early hours of night on Saturday when a woman on the night shift was suddenly attacked by an unidentified person on her way home. According to the woman, the assailant looked sickly and was acting abnormally. Unrecognisable. According to information provided by the medical examiner, the unidentified person died of heart failure during the attack. Unrecognisable. Heart failure during the attack, is it? Cody's hungry. Have a can of cat food, Cody. And so will I. Okay. important that you know how to uh, get water. Just lead the child through the corpses. a lot to take in. I wish you didn't have to see this. What's that? Huh? The man who was holding a lockpick. What does that do? We could use it to unlock doors without a key. We could use it to get into the backyard. Why don't we go home and try it out? Okay. Poor Cody. No child should see the world like this. Unrecognizable. Alan, from the apartment next door, heard a noise in the hallway. At first he thought someone was moving furniture. Then the noises became more and more intense and were not stopping. It sounded like someone was frantically smashing stuff, flower pots, just everything. And there was this sound, like the roar, like a wild animal. I was so scared. Unrecognizable. The police suspected that the deceased had entered a highly aggressive state under the influence of a drug and further information from the medical examiner was needed. Unrecognizable. Yeah, or well, they're zombies. There are wood. Okay, need a crowbar for that shit. Now, there was someone talking at us from this house. Hmm. 
Knock, knock. Mary, is that you? Who is this? And darling, it's so good to hear your voice. Mom, it's really Mary. Mary, it's Cody. Cody? It's so good to hear familiar voices. It's been so long since I've heard one. Mom, can you let Mary live with us? Thank you, Cody, but I still want to wait for Mom and Dad to come back home. Mary, are your parents not at home? Dad used to work in the mine six... outside six kilometers. And... I went to go find him. She told me to wait at home for them. Mary, is there anything we can do for you? There's still some food here, but we're out of water. Can you get me some water? You're in luck. I have some water. Oh. Distance information for Lara Mining Site has been obtained. Once I find the direction information, I can proceed to the location. That's actually cool. You need distance and direction in order to be able to go places that you don't know. That's... I mean, it's perfectly reasonable, isn't it? But, uh, have some water, Mary. Mary, here's the water for you. Thank you, Cody. Do you still have enough water for yourselves? Don't worry, I can help my mom scavenge for supplies and help you find them too. Cody, you're really helpful. Here, I have some tomato seeds for you. Thank you, Mary. I, I'll come back to see you. I don't know what happened to their voices. Thank you. These are still useful. Oh, good. Tomato seeds. Mary wants you to visit her regularly. That's important. Okay. Um, first off... back home. Now that it's flipping heck, it's nearly 10 o'clock at night. Okay. Haha, -ha, let's Fix the food bench. There you go. Look, watch this, kiddo. Now, okay. So watch this, kid. This is how you cook food. It's important. food thing. Cody first. Now and Ling. Okay, Cody, watch this. This is how you pick blocks. 
he'll definitely need to know that one. Scrap pile. Oh no, something's not right. I don't feel very good. A bunch of bandage. Okay. Symptom details. No. Okay. Oh. When Anling's fatigue rises, she will enter a weak state. If she remains in this state for too long, she will turn. To remain in control, she must go home and rest. What is happening to me? I feel... Hungry. This feeling is like something is taking over me. I'm so tired, I can't hold it back. I need to rest. I can't let this take over me. Okay. The state of weakness started. Come on, Cody. Let's piss off upstairs. Because your mum needs to rest really badly. Sleep. That's not bad, only ten food and water, or hunger and thirst, consumed while sleeping. peaceful night without the harassment of zombies after some sleep Anling and Cody's injuries have slowly healed. With the heater on, Cody has recovered from the cold. That's good to know. Starting the day at 8am, that's a bit late. Oh. Kid's thirsty, is he? Okay. Okay, downstairs. Okay, now... Damn it, I need wood plank and more scraps than I have. Need a bunch of shit for that. Go, kid. Be sure to boil water. It's important. Especially if it comes from a dodgy water source like the fountain out front. Anyway, let's head out in the backyard. Why not? <coughs> Oh nice, we have a generator. Oh my god, a zombie! Cody, stay back! Uh, Mom, I'm scared! Don't be afraid, luckily it's stuck in a trap. Just stay back, Mama will deal with it. Okay. I'm just gonna... Oh, wrong button. I wanted to pick that shit up myself. A weapon! Now to deal with this zombie! 
Be careful, Mom. Mama's got this. Check bag. Unling equip. Take it, lock, and switch target. Okay. Let us lock the take it. Oh, look, you, you bog off, Mr. Zombie. Now you're dead. Ah. How do you feel about them apples? Mom, I'm so scared. Don't be afraid, Cody. Fear won't let you escape this nightmare. Since zombies are everywhere, I think it's time for you to learn how to protect yourself. Mom, but I don't know what to do. It's hard to get started, but don't you like to play with slingshots? I think you can start by hitting targets with a slingshot. Come, come with me. Hmm. Oh, and he was a copper as well. Mom, you're bleeding. Shit, shit, shit. Mom! That was a swear! Fortunately, Cody's mood isn't at the point of breakdown. Okay. Oh, now we've got a bear trap. Comfort, Cody. It's alright, wee laddie boy. Now I will check you. How are you? I'm thumbs up, ma. Jacob was going to take Cody there to play arcade games. Where? I need to find a suitable weapon for him and teach him self-defense. Cody, come on. Can you try and hit this target? Okay, mom. Is it going to be hard? I don't know. Pick up the slingshot, dude. Okay, you do need a weapon. Now, Cody equip slingshot. Damn games with protagonists with sons with projectile weapons. But you have to teach them how to aim and fire themselves. Good job, Cody. No, it's broken. Do you think Dad will get mad? He's spent so long making it. I think Dad's probably dead, kid. Don't worry, we'll fix it. This can be our little secret. Oh, rainwater. Okay. Nice. Oh, look, here, Cody, watch this. See? I'll fix it. There you go. And fixed. Look at that. See? We can practice as many times as we want. Yes! Awesome! Now, hold hands. Get caught up on the thingy. Um... Okay, so... Still need a trowel! Let's check the generator... Okay, Jenny's fine. The door is probably blocked again. Okay, look, Cody, because I know you're obviously hungry, eat that. <sighs> now we have to go and look for some food. Oh, there's something on the television. Mom, 
I hear something on TV. Hmm? Oh, the TV is on. I wonder if there will be any news regarding the evacuation. Yeah, it was just on when I came back in. Let me change the channel. Nothing, just static. Is it broken? Let Mama check. How is it? It's definitely broken. No, check this out. The circuit board's fried. Circuit boards? I heard Uncle John talking about them. Why am I always collecting circuit boards? That's what he said. Hmm. He does have the same TV as ours. Maybe we should go pay him a visit. I don't think I'm allowed to go there. Why? Last time I was there, I was playing with the slingshot, and... Don't worry, Cody. I'm sure Uncle John would have forgiven you by now, and besides, he's probably not there. He should have left with the other evacuation group. Okay, well, let's go go. Let's go then. <coughs> How is John, who lives at the farm, doing? Alrighty. Let's go and see Mary first, next door. Because, oh, also, let's get some more water. Mrs. An Ling, Mrs. An Ling, Mary, I'm here to see you. Cody, you're here. It's so good to hear your voice and know that you're safe. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. I also want to grow up quickly so I can take care of my mom. Be careful and stay safe. I will. Your supplies enough. I'm going to collect supplies. Do you need me to bring anything for you? I still have supplies, but the water you gave me last time is almost gone. Can you bring me some more water, please? Thank you. Sure. You and Mrs. An Ling, stay safe. Here you go, Mary. Have some more water. I can only give you two bottles. It'll be enough. Thank you, Cody. What about you and Mrs. An Ling? Do you have enough water? Don't worry about us. We can still go find more supplies. Are you sure you don't want to stay with us? No, I'll just wait at home for my mum and dad to come back. Everything will be better when they're back. Aren't you scared to be alone? Sometimes I am, but I usually cover my head with a blanket when I sleep. When I fall asleep, I don't feel scared anymore. And I can even see my parents in my dreams. You're really brave. You're brave too for helping Miss An Ling. Scratches his arm. <laughs> okay. Okay, herb seeds. to loot here. No, Cody still can't get gasoline yet. Come on! Child, follow! Procure more water for us, boy! broken down car. I like it. Uh, 
and I obviously have noticed the shadow of a zombie to the south, which I will go and murder momentarily. A worthless, broken down car. Okay, Cody, come on, poor little kid, we just have to kick the shit out of some zombies from time to time, that's all, get over it. And yes, I am going to make you do all the damn work, because I got bit looking after you, you little bastard. Um, I mean, come on, I really love and appreciate you, son. A crumpled note. I'm sorry, but I have to leave here. My friends have all turned into zombies. Although I've killed many other zombies, those, these people who turned into zombies were just ordinary folks like me who occasionally went to the gym to work out. But I couldn't bring myself to harm my friends. Farewell, my friends. I hope you won't pose a threat to others in this courtyard. The above describes the characteristics of regular zombies. Yep, I bet. I, I should keep an eye on the time. Still don't really have food, do I? But we also need to head back home because we're full of shit. Because I've not actually dropped anything off in storage. Which, you know, might be silly. Damn it. Okay. Storage. Store all. deposit. I like that. Alrighty. Almost no foods, meds left. Nice of her to actually point out those are the two things as we approach the uh, front door that we need the most. This way. I feel like we'll have to visit John tomorrow. Today seems like we're, uh, well, maybe. You can upgrade the vehicle too? Nice. Okay, transferring within the highlighted range around your home will not result in gasoline. Result in gasoline. Fair enough. Main locations have unique cartoon with icons. You can select a location to move there. You can enter the randomly occurring unsafe areas when traveling through or towards your destination. And you can upgrade your vehicle to increase fuel capacity, trunk capacity, and migration speed gain. Migration speed gain. 
do they mean acceleration? I don't know. Outskirts farm. Farm owned by my brother in law. Cody has wonderful memories of this place. Okay. Two miles, and it'll take two hours to get there. Why not? Come on, Cody. John's house is up ahead. What happened to this place? I hope John and Lily are safe. Entering stealth will make it harder for enemies to notice you. Okay. Storage box. Okay, come on. Oh! Shit. Who's out there? Don't even think about luring those zombies over here. I'll kill you, and I ain't joking. Bill, they look like they might be in danger, shouldn't we? Shut up! I'm the one calling shots. You hear me? Okay. <laughs> Mom, it hurts. Cody, be strong. Mama will treat as soon as she can, okay? Just hang in there. Okay, now grab the crowbar, kid. Um, we're pissing off out of here. Oh, shit. Come on. We're going home. Okay, I gotta go to bed, boy. Sleep. And after the first two days, well, four months and two days, I suppose, of the zombie apocalypse, from Anling and Cody's point of view, I think that will that will be enough for now. I'll save at Buddha because, of course, and uh, I'll get back to this at another date. I hope you've enjoyed watching a poor, tired old mother try and teach her son how to survive the zombie apocalypse, and uh, farewell for now. <laughs>